AI automation agencies are setting the stage for the next big opportunity. You've probably been bombarded with reasons why AI automation agencies are the golden opportunity in 2023. But we are not talking about that today. Instead, let's discuss the nitty gritty, the stuff you really need to know. Enter Langchain. Let's discuss one, what's Langchain and two, why should you, as an AI automation agency, give a hoot whether you're an agency that does no code, low code, or actual code, you cannot afford to ignore it. Because almost every large language model app you build will use Langchain under the hood. And number three, how do you learn it? Hey, my name is Mani, and in this channel, we discuss content related to AI automation agency from developing offers, effective outreach, service delivery, and everything in between. So stay tuned. Okay, Langchain is an open source framework. It's like a powerhouse for developing applications fired up by language models such as GPT, Claude, Llama, and many more. It's offered in Python, JavaScript packages. You might be thinking, Python, JavaScript, that's code. Yes, indeed, but don't let that scare you off. There are plenty of no-code or low-code options out there. Hang till the end, and I will show you three no-code tools, master them, and you will be on the same level of a seasoned Langchain developer when it comes to building LLM apps. Sound good? So why in the world we need to learn Langchain? Langchain is built around two big ideas, data aware and agentic. For example, ChatGPT is not data aware. It's like a horse with the blinders on. It cannot connect with other data sources. There are some plugins like chat with PDF, but they start to fall apart when you connect it to, let's say, a database or multiple PDFs, or CSV files, Google Analytics, or large databases. But with Langchain, we can bridge these large language models to other data sources. But how can you, as an AI automation agency, use it? Imagine your client has an online store with thousands of reviews and hundreds of products. We can create a bot that will read all the reviews, label them, answer them, and report back the reviews that are time sensitive. Or your client is a law firm that has a lots of research data. We can make a chatbot that can give them answers super fast. And what is agentic? It means your creation is not just a puppet. It's not idling around waiting for instructions. It's interacting with its environment like a living organism. Imagine multiple agents, each interacting with each other, responding to outside situations, Westworld style. <laughs> there are a lot of autonomous agents. We are not there yet, but AutoGPT, Baby AGI, GPT Engineer, building whole websites with a single prompt. But as an AI automation agency owner, imagine offering a service like this to a newsletter company. Let's say a Twitter bot, working 24 seven, scraping any information posted in an instant. If this video piqued your interest and you're getting value from it, remember to subscribe. Next video is actually building a chatbot from scratch using an open source tool called Flowwise AI. I'm starting a newsletter to share my AI automation agency journey. You'll find all the links in the description down below. Now let's put some more cards on the table. I'll list some things we could do with Langchain and you think about what services as an AI automation agency owner you could offer to your clients. Hopefully this gets your creative wheels turning. Personal assistance. Visualize a digital assistant that knows all about your data. It has all the knowledge. And question and answering bot. A tool capable of deriving answers 
from specific set of documents or books, even CSV files, SQL databases. Number three, we have chatbots, a custom chatbot trained on a company's own data. It's like having a virtual receptionist. There are so many applications like code understanding, data extraction, summarization. The applications of LangChain are like stars in the sky. They are countless and brilliant. Let's talk about some of the important modules in LangChain. It is important to know as an AI automation agency when you're conversing with a client or your development team. First, we have models. Think of models as brains of LangChain. They are the ones doing the heavy lifting, understanding and generating text. There are few types that LangChain uses. For example, large language models, LLMs, are like your smart friend who you can ask anything. You give them a piece of text, they give back a piece of text, one time deal. They don't have any memory. Then there are chat models. They're a bit more specific. You can give them a list of chat messages and they give back one chat message. In this case, we pass the previous messages in the conversation as a context with each new user message. So the model has memory of your conversation. This is really important when building chatbots to your clients because how much memory should you give? There are basically four types. I'm not going into that right now. That's a topic for another day. Lastly, we have text embedding models. These are the behind the scenes guys, turning the text into numbers so the machine can make sense of the words that you input. Second, we have prompts. If you're watching this, you know what a prompt is. It's basically an instruction that you give to the model. But with LangChain, these prompts are usually hard-coded into a prompt template. When you build a chatbot or an AI application for your client, you need to discuss every little detail that you're trying to automate. Only then write prompts for that. You need to test these prompts thoroughly so users won't be able to misuse the app. I will make a dedicated video on prompt engineering for AI automation agencies soon. Coming back to LangChain, you may want to add some examples to these prompts. So we have some example selectors that help you pick the best ones. Also, since the output from the model is usually just text, you have output parsers to help structure the output way your client wants and make it more meaningful. Then we have indexes. Imagine having a huge library of books and you need to find one specific book. That's where indexes come in. They help you structure the documents and make them easily accessible. Often they are used in retrieval step, which is like asking a librarian, the retriever, to find the most relevant book based on your question. Next up, we have chains. Think of chains as the assembly line in a factory where each station, each component does a specific job. Chains and lang chain are basically the sequences of such components assembled in a specific way to get the job done. For example, the most common type of a chain is an LLM chain. How does it work? It takes user input and it, it uses a prompt template to format it and it passes to the language model and gets a response. It's not done yet. It checks and corrects the output if necessary. In future, we will talk about QA retrieval chains, router chains, multi-prompt chains and more. Finally, we have agents. Agents are like decision makers in LangChain. They are not restricted to a set of action. Remember, they are not a puppet. Instead, they have a suite of tools and can choose which tool to call based on the user input. 
Now, as promised, let's talk about the no-code tools I've been itching to share with you. We got Flowwise AI, Stack AI, and BotPress. Trust me, if you invest some time, take the time to master it, and really get to grips with this, you'll be standing toe-to-toe with a seasoned Langchain developer in no time. Much of the tutorials I will be sharing will revolve around these tools, plus some other handy ones like Zapier and Make. In fact, I'm already finishing up the next video where we'll be building a custom chatbot using Flowwise AI. Flowwise AI is basically Langchain with no code. Everything that you could do on Langchain, you can do it on Flowwise without the code. If you don't want to miss out, be sure to hit that subscribe button. In that video, we'll be using models, chains, indexes, vector databases, and the best part, it's all drag and drop. We are already running long here, so I won't keep you. All the links are in the description down below. See you in the next one.